Imagine this, it's 3 a.m. Your room is dark. The hum of your fan blends with the faint buzz of your monitor, glowing like a portal to another dimension. Outside, the world sleeps, but not you, not tonight. Your fingers hover above the keyboard like a sniper waiting for the perfect shot. Somewhere across the globe, an elite hacker sits in a hidden corner of the internet, hoodie up, headphones on, orchestrating chaos silently. While everyone else is watching Netflix, scrolling Instagram, or arguing on Reddit, this person is rewriting the rules of the entire internet, and no one even knows their name. This isn't Hollywood. No green matrix rain. No exaggerated keyboard smashing. This is real hacking. Silent, methodical, surgical. And in this underground world, knowledge isn't just power. Knowledge is control. Most beginners fail before they even start. Why? They treat hacking like a magic trick install Kali, watch a 10-minute tutorial, run a few tools, and expect to become Neo. Reality check. Tools don't make you dangerous. Understanding does. Part 1. The foundation most people skip. Linux is your weapon. Forget Windows for hacking. That OS is a digital babysitter constantly asking, are you sure? While the real hackers are breaking systems on Kali, Parrot, or Blackarch. Learn the file system, permissions, processes, logs, and network stack until the terminal feels like an extension of your hands. Networking mastery is non-negotiable. Understand how packets move, TCP and IP, DNS, ARP spoofing, NAT traversal, VPN routing, and reverse proxies. If you can't see the flow of data, you're hacking blind. Part 2. <laughs> Learning attacks the right way. Here's where beginners fail again. Jumping straight into exploits without knowing vulnerabilities. Learn the building blocks. SQL injection for manipulate database queries to steal passwords, bypass logins, or dump entire tables. Cross-site scripting, or XSS, it inject malicious code into websites to hijack sessions or steal cookies. Buffer overflows attack, used to exploit memory vulnerabilities to run arbitrary code. Command injection, it exploit poorly sanitized input to execute system commands remotely. Server Side Request Forgery, or SSRF, trick a server into fetching internal resources, bypassing firewalls. Directory Traversal or Path Traversal, access restricted files by manipulating file paths. Insecure Deserialization, inject malicious objects to execute code or escalate privileges. Man in the Middle Attacks, used to intercept and manipulate network traffic to steal credentials or inject malware. ARP spoofing or poisoning, trick devices on a network to route traffic through your machine. DNS spoofing or cache poisoning, it redirect users to malicious websites by tampering with DNS records. Session hijacking or cookie poisoning, take over authenticated sessions to impersonate users. File inclusion vulnerabilities or LFI and RFI, include and execute files from the server or remote sources. Wireless and IoT exploits, hack poorly secured Wi-Fi networks, Bluetooth connections, smart home devices, or any internet-connected gadget to take control, steal data, or manipulate them remotely. Social engineering exploits to phishing, vishing, smishing, trick humans to gain access. Supply chain attacks, compromise software updates or dependencies to infiltrate networks. Privilege escalation to move from low-level accounts to root by abusing kernel flaws. Remote code execution or RCE run commands on someone else's system like it's yours. Zero days the game changer. Unknown vulnerabilities stockpiled, sold, and weaponized in the dark web. Part 3. AI-powered hacking. AI isn't just an assistant. It's a force multiplier. It can scan code, networks, and systems to instantly find vulnerabilities and weak points that would take humans weeks to spot. Hackers also use it for deepfake voices and videos, impersonating executives or targets with deadly realism to trick victims. AI even helps craft malware, ransomware, and key loggers, adapting payloads in real time to bypass defenses. It gives hackers superhuman eyes, ears, and hands, spotting opportunities, generating attacks, and executing them faster than the human mind. Combine this with anonymity and the dark web, 
and you have ghosts amplified by machines, reshaping the digital battlefield unseen. Part 4. Building the Hacker Mindset Hacking isn't just about commands, tools, or exploits. It's about how you think. You can download Kaylee, run Metasploit, and watch endless tutorials. But without the right mindset, you'll always be just another script kitty clicking buttons. An elite hacker doesn't see problems the way others do. Where most people see a locked door, hackers see a hundred hidden keys. They live in curiosity mode, constantly asking why, what if, and how can I break this? It's not about shortcuts, it's about obsession. You fail, you break things, you get stuck, and you keep going. You dig deeper when others give up. You stay awake at 3 a.m. chasing a single bug, rewriting the same payload over and over until it finally works. That's the difference. A hacker's greatest weapon isn't a zero-day exploit. It's their relentless hunger to understand. The mindset transforms you from someone using tools into someone building them. When the system says, access denied. Part 5. How Hackers Stay Invisible In the hacking world, power means nothing without invisibility. Elite hackers don't just break into systems look that they erase their footsteps before they even start walking. They live in ghost mode. How? By mastering layers of anonymity. It starts with Tor, routing your traffic through encrypted tunnels across thousands of relays, making you nearly impossible to trace. But pros don't stop there, and they chain proxies on top of Tor, bouncing traffic across multiple countries, creating a digital maze where investigators get lost. Then comes Tails OS, a live boot Linux system built for ghosts. Every reboot wipes everything, leaving zero forensic footprint. Some go even further, using Kube's OS, which isolates every app in its own virtual machine, making tracking almost impossible. For operations that can't risk exposure, Hackers use burner devices, cheap disposable laptops and phones bought with cash, never tied to their identity. Part 6. Certifications that actually matter. Certifications won't magically make you a hacker, but they open doors and give you structure when learning. You start with beginner-level certs like CompTIA Security Plus, which teaches you the fundamentals networking, threat detection, vulnerabilities, and the basic defense strategies every hacker must know. Then comes CEH, or Certified Ethical Hacker, where you dive into exploits, payloads, scanning techniques, and penetration testing methodologies, learning how attackers think and how to stop them. But the real game changer? OSCP, the Offensive Security Certified Professional. This isn't theory at survival. You're given machines to hack and you must compromise them under pressure. It forces you to think like an attacker, break systems, escalate privileges, and write custom exploits when nothing else works. Each cert isn't just a paper, it's a weapon. Combine them with hands-on labs and suddenly you're not just learning hacking, you become one. Part 7. Online platforms to level up. Knowledge isn't enough, you need experience. These platforms are your digital dojo. Hack the box, realistic corporate networks, vulnerable machines, and simulated enterprise environments. Try Hack Me, step by step guided paths from beginner to pro. Web hacking, malware analysis, OSINT challenges, Port Swigger Web Academy, master web vulnerabilities like SQL, XSS, CSRF, Auth Bypass, and many others. Vuln Hub and Over the Wire break machines safely, learn memory exploits and privilege escalation. Capture the Flag or CTF are simulated cyber wars, puzzles, and competitions that train real skills. Consistency beats speed. One lab a day, one CTF a week, and slowly the internet becomes your playground. Every packet, every login, every vulnerability and opportunity. And here's the brutal truth. Most people watching this will quit. They'll hit one error in Burp Suite, fail one buffer overflow, or misconfigure a proxy and give up, thinking hacking is too hard. Every system becomes a puzzle, every packet a clue, every vulnerability an opportunity. You start seeing networks like open books, sniffing patterns where others see chaos, predicting defenses before they exist. The choice is yours, stay scrolling or step into the shadows. So hit subscribe, like, and join me on the other side of the firewall. See you in the next one.